Hey contractors, it's Ashley here from the iRoofing team. Today I'm going to show you how to do a full measurement report using our application. This report will include all of your lineage, square footage, and waste factor, and everything will be calculated through the software. In that case, I'm doing it on a 35 square roof. This one took me 3 minutes and 47 seconds. I want to note that I've never been to the site, so I'm doing this measurement fully remotely. So I'm just starting by entering the address of the property, and it could be any address. The reason I chose this one is it has a tree coverage problem. But iRoofing has a solution for that, which is called ClearRoof, and it's available in most areas of the US and metro areas of Canada. So what you can do with ClearRoof is basically go back in time. And in that case, we'll go back to winter to see the roof without tree coverage in order to measure it. Now to measure a roof, it's really simple. You basically follow each one of the slopes um, and you have to pay attention, but if you make a mistake, you can simply hit undo, as you'll see on the right-hand toolbar. So I'm measuring each slope by just following the dots around the shape. So for example, in this one, there would be four dots, whereas in the other one, there were three. And I'm just going to end the slope on the first dot that I've created for that shape. It's very simple. I'm just going to speed up the video for you and notice I've also sped up the stopwatch in the top right corner, so you can see what's happening in real time. So I'm basically drawing each one of the slopes, and when I'm done, I'm going to move to the next step, which is called Label. Here on the bottom toolbar, you'll see a button that says Label Part, and it's as simple as labeling your ridge, hips, valleys, rakes and eaves, flashing, and so on, which you can see there along the right-hand side menu. On the left, you'll see a menu that will give you a subsection. So for example, on the ridge, you can add a ridge vent, you can label ice and water if you see them, you can add a drip edge or the gutters. So after I'm done labeling the roof, the next part will be to measure the roof's pitch. There are three ways to measure pitch in the app, by the slope, by the hips and valleys, or by the rake, as you'll note on the left toolbar. In this case, I chose to do it through a hip and valley because that's exposed in the street view photo. So I find that I have a 9 by 12 slope by double tapping on it. Great, basically generated for the whole group. And that's how I finish this measurement in just 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Now I'm going to save it to a customer. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to save it to John Smith. I always recommend saving your measurements to a customer because then you can get to all your information from that customer's profile in your database. So this is the full report you've just generated. It will have the lineage on the left, the total areas, the waste factor, and the slopes. If you scroll, you'll see a diagram of the lineage, a diagram of the square footage of each one of the slopes, and a pitch diagram. Your report is easily shareable through email, Dropbox, and so on. And that's it. Yes, it's really that easy. That's how you measure a roof, 35 squares, in roughly 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Thank you guys so much for your time today, and happy roofing!